The goal of this video is to help you understand the proper use of your Plantronics Callisto 2 headset. We will go over basic functions like charging and powering on the device, show you how to use it with Dragon Naturally Speaking, and give you some tips to assure you have a great experience with the headset. The Callisto package came with three pieces, the Callisto 2 headset, the BT300 USB adapter, and the USB charging cable. Additionally, you should be sure to read the user guide that comes with the product to help give yourself an understanding on how to use your headset. To get started, you must first charge your headset. To do this, plug one end of the USB charging cable into a USB port on your computer. The other end will plug into the side of the Callisto headset. You will notice that when charging, the light will glow red. Once the headset has fully charged, the light will stop glowing. Be sure to unplug the headset before using. It is important to know that you must plug in the USB adapter before you open Dragon Naturally Speaking. If you have Dragon open, please close the program, plug in the USB adapter, and reopen Dragon. Next, to power on the device, hold down the button on the headset for 6 seconds until you hear 4 ascending beeps. Note that you may need to hold the device up to your ear to hear the beeps. Once powered on, the light on the headset will flash red to indicate it has powered on. You will notice that the USB adapter will blink rapidly and then glow solid blue. The light glowing solid blue indicates that the USB adapter and headset have connected. At this point, the headset has been powered on and connected. However, it is important to know that the headset is not ready to use. You must turn on the microphone by pressing the button one more time. You will then see the light on the USB adapter blink slowly. This means the headset is now ready to use. To turn the microphone off, press the button once again and the light will go back to a solid blue glow. This process of pressing the button on the headset in order to turn the microphone on can be referred to as putting the headset in call mode. This is similar to the process you would use if you were using a headset to answer a phone call. Before you open Dragon, it is a good idea to check the system audio settings in the control panel. To find these settings, click on the start menu and navigate to the control panel. With the control panel open, click the sound settings. You want to make sure the default recording device is set to the Plantronics BT300. Depending on your version of Windows, you will either select an option from a drop-down menu, or you can right-click on the BT300 from a list of devices and choose to set it as the default device. The green checkmark on the device shows that it is your default audio input. Now that the headset is connected and ready to use, let's look at how to set up the device in Dragon Naturally Speaking. You can either create a new profile by clicking Profile in the menu on the Dragon bar and then choosing New. Follow the prompts of the Profile Creation Wizard. When you get to the screen where you select the type of device you are using, select Enhanced Bluetooth. This is a new feature in version 12 for use with wideband devices like the Callisto 2. If you already have a profile and would like to add a new audio source, you can again click on the profile menu in the Dragon bar and then choose Add New Source. Next, choose which type of source you will be using. You will be asked to perform a volume check. Before clicking Start Volume Check, be sure your headset's microphone is turned on and the USB adapter is blinking slowly. Otherwise, you will receive a message that the sound level is too low. After creating a profile, Dragon will open your profile automatically. It is important, however, to make sure the microphone is turned on, both on the headset and in Dragon Naturally Speaking. To turn the microphone on in Dragon, you can click on the red microphone button in the Dragon bar. You will notice after clicking on it, it will turn green. Once again, be sure the microphone on the headset is turned on and the USB adapter is flashing blue slowly. You may have already noticed that the button on the headset can be pressed in towards the headset as well as forwards or backwards. Pressing the button forwards or backwards will increase or decrease the volume. This volume adjustment gives you control of the volume coming out of the speaker in the headset. It is a good idea to practice using this button, turning your headset on and off, turning the microphone on and off, and changing the volume so that you can get used to using your headset.
The headset and USB adapter come factory paired. However, if you have powered on the headset and plugged in the USB adapter, and notice that the light on the USB adapter never turned solid blue to indicate the two are connected, you may have to pair them again. To do this, unplug the USB adapter and power off the headset. You must then hold down the button on the headset for approximately 10 seconds. You will hear the four ascending beeps after four to six seconds, and then one additional beep. The light on the headset will blink alternately between red and blue. Once you have the headset in this state, plug in the USB adapter. The USB adapter should blink blue rapidly, and after approximately 30 seconds, it should glow solid blue, meaning the two have connected. When the device is powered down, the light on the USB adapter will stop glowing. It can be left in your USB port when not in use. If you remove the USB adapter from your USB port, it is a good idea to plug it back into the same USB port if possible. You can wear the Callisto 2 headset on either your left or right ear. To change the direction of the ear hook, hold the device facing the floor, flip the ear hook so that it is perpendicular to the headset, rotate the ear hook 90 degrees, and then flip it back into place. When wearing the Callisto 2 headset, make sure the microphone is pointing directly towards the corner of your mouth. Repeating this placement each time you put on the headset will help achieve consistent performance from Dragon. Hopefully this video has given you good insight into how to properly operate your Callisto 2 headset. For further support, be sure to read the user guide that came with your Callisto 2. For additional support, check the Nuance Support website.